All right, so yesterday we talked about giving and receiving criticism, which can sometimes lead to conflicts. Now, if you're like me, or most people, if you are involved in a conflict, there are different ways of handling it. And so that's where our focus is today. So at the end of the video today, uh, in our Zoom this afternoon, we are going to talk about the four different ways that you handle conflict. And as I'm going through some of the concepts today, I want you to think about the last conflict you had. Now, it could have been with a peer. It could have been um, with a family member. It could have been with anybody that you had conflict. So think about it. Last time you had conflict. So I want you to imagine who you had conflict with. What was the conflict over? How did they approach it with you? How did you approach it with them? Because that tells a lot. In today's society, especially in the workplace, more and more times you are called to work in a group. And if you have somebody in the group who is exactly like you, sometimes you're gonna butt heads. If you have someone who is polar opposite with you, you're gonna butt heads. No matter what the situation is, when you are working with somebody, there is the potential for you to have conflict. How do you handle that? So today we are gonna be looking at how to handle conflict in a group. So let me get this up, just a few slides today. So, there you go. All right, so you kind of got the preview a little bit. Let me move myself up out of the way. Yeah, so, so in a conflict, there's one way of doing is competing, working to win. You don't care about anybody else. All you want to do is win, 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 no matter what. All right, um, so do are you a competitor in the conflict do you want to come out winning now back when i was a kid um and you know my background after i started learning conflict i wanted to win no matter what because i didn't want people to take advantage of me or at least that's what i perceived was a happy so i think as i've gotten older and got a little more mellow most of the time i don't compete in conflict, I don't have to win in conflict unless I feel like there's a line in the sand I want to draw. So, are you competing? Are you a competitor? Do you want to win? And you don't care about anybody else. Another one is compromise. Are you give and take? Are you trying to find a solution? And sometimes people think if you are compromising, you're rolling over and you're giving in. And that's not exactly true. There's another philosophy on that in a minute. But in this compromising, it's you both want to walk out winning and neither one of you feel like you're losing. So you give some, they give some, and you come out with a solution that you're both able to live with. A lot of times when people go to a conflict resolution meeting, that's the goal, compromising. Um, do you give in? Are you always like, that's okay. I'll let, let's do it your way, even though deep down you're thinking, no, I want to do it my way, but you don't want to either seek that compromise or you don't want to compete. So a lot of people, you probably can name a couple of people right now that are always giving in, but then they regret that decision. Hopefully the wind chimes aren't going to bother you. Uh, I'll look at it later. So, uh, and you always put everyone else above you. Sometimes that's good, sometimes it's not. And probably you're thinking through, well, I do a little bit compete, I do some compromising, I give in some, or do you just avoid? Withdraw from the conflict. You don't even participate in the disagreement. You become very passive. You act like it doesn't bother you. You act like you don't want to find a solution. You don't say you're putting their head, just like. So thinking in terms of that, competing, compromising, giving in, avoiding. So remember, 
I told you to think about your most recent conflict. Who was it with? What was the situation? What was their goal? What was your goal? How did it end? So you're going to take it from your perspective. Were you competing? Were you compromising? Were you giving in? Are you just like, hands up? I'm not going to, I'm just going to avoid it. So that's kind of what your assignment is going to be around. Now, think about this chart here. Now, you might want to write this chart down or definitely have it in your notes. So which is you? Because this is what we're going to focus on in our Zoom this afternoon. You have the win-win. So think about that. What would that be? So competing, compromising, giving in, avoiding. So win-win. Hmm. Compromising. Win lose. Hmm. Competing. Lose win. Giving in. Lose lose. Avoidance. So when you think about the four here, they can go in this grid. And so in a win win scenario, both sides feel good about the resolution of the conflict. Both claim their interests are met. So again, this would be compromise. So in your scenario, if this is the last conflict you had, you would be compromising to get a win-win. Win-lose. Dude, you lose. I feel good. I don't care if you feel bad. What are the chances of us having a positive relationship in the future? Not very likely. So a win-lose is that competing. So I hope you're understanding. I'm trying to give you the, the, two, the two by two, the four grids, and attach them to the other four. So the lose, win. I lose. You feel pretty good here. I feel pretty bad here. The chances of us having a positive communication in the future, not so much from my perspective. Now, if this is the scenario and I gave in, you totally want to have conflict with me again because you know I'll give in. I might move to the avoidance, which is the last one. We get nowhere. The conflict is unresolved or resolved in a way that neither side gets what they want. Chances are it's going to be remote as well. So you have competing, compromising, giving in, avoidance. That was the first slide. So when we take them to here, the win-win is the compromise. The win-lose is the competing. The lose-win is giving in. And the lose-lose, well, that's avoidance. So this is what you're going to be doing. Now, there are two videos um, that you should have watched. I mean, I'm sorry, one video um, that you should have watched before this video. So based on that video about conflict resolution, and it's a really good one. I, I hope you watch it because it makes this presentation fit so much better. So which one are you? Were you the competing? Were you the compromising? Were you the giving in? Were the avoidance? Were you going win-win, compromising, win-lose, competing, lose-win, giving in, lose-lose, avoidance. So you're going to write a half a paper, half a page, 12 font, you know it's expected. And again, thinking in terms of that last conflict that you had, talk about conflict resolution in your perspective. What are you? Computer, compromiser, give in, avoidance, seeking win-win, win-lose, lose-win, lose-lose. Now, when you're doing this and you're writing your paper, be specific as you can. Now, if you don't want to mention names, that's fine. But it really helps a lot to understand how you act in conflict resolution. Because trust me, the further you get through high school, when you get into college, there are going to be multiple opportunities for you to understand how to deal with conflict. And more importantly, you understand how the other person is thinking. So if you are dealing with a computer, a win-lose, you take a different approach with that. 
especially if you have to come to a solution. If you're going to say like, well, well, I'll give in, but then they're not happy about it, take approach as well. So the point of today is you understand how you deal with conflict resolution and understand the others. Now, remember, today in our Zoom, I'm going to put you in breakout groups, and you're going to be identifying what type of conflict resolution person are you. You'll be talking about that. Your assignment, half-page paper, write it, type it out, you can put it in Google Doc, you'll go to the assignment part, and you'll upload, make sure your name is on there, your class, your name, and then conflict resolution, uh, and making sure you upload that in, and the due date, I believe, is on Sunday. So, again, see you this afternoon for Zoom. Have a blessed day. Later, guys.